everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to my airgun range. Today I'm going to be shooting the Vulcan 3. I'm going to do a quick sight in and uh, let's see how far we can stretch this out today. Um, I can see out to 400 yards at my range. Uh, I actually have enough room to do 600 yards but I need to clear a, bit, a little bit more brush. Uh, today I'm going to try to see if we can stretch this out, maybe hit a soda can at 300 yards. This is in 25 cal with a 700 millimeter barrel. This has the CZ barrel in it. Uh, I write some good things about this gun. Let's see how far we can stretch this out. Uh, it has a 10 shot mag. I'm going to uh, load this up. I'll check my speeds with the chronograph. And then uh, let's see if we can stretch this thing out to 300 yards. All right, so let me uh, load this up. Um, I'll get the chronograph set up. I'll put it into my phone. We'll get my speeds and then uh, we'll put it into Street Lock Pro and we'll see if we can get out to 300 yards. All right, so I'll be back in one second. All right, so. I just did five shots uh, into the ground out there using the chronograph. Uh, I have a spread of, uh, of six feet per second and an average speed of 900, I'm sorry, 891 feet. So I'm going to use 891 for my calculation of the Street Light Pro. I am shooting uh, AVS 42 grain. These are uh, 0.2553s uh, and they're a dish. So uh, let me. Uh, See if we can get this sighted in. I'll aim at the target there and then uh, we'll get it sighted in and see how quickly we can get out 300 yards. All right, so we're ready to sight this rifle in, the Vulcan 3. I have the Tacticam on top. We'll record it with the Tacticam also. Uh, we'll see how many shots uh, we can get sighted in. I'm not going to waste too much time doing groups. I'm just going to see if we can get it sighted in and then uh, we'll put the calculations in and see how far we can shoot out. All right, let's go. We're going to shoot at 50 yards. Tatting the camera's recording. Let's see how close we are. Okay, so. I am gonna go up five tenths. I'm sorry, down five tenths. And we'll go Uh, four tenths to the left. All right, so let's see what we got. Second shot. If we're close enough, we'll send it right out. Okay, just a tiny bit high and a tiny bit to the left. I'm gonna call that good enough. We're gonna uh, we're gonna send it out. All right, so we have all the calculations set in the Street Lock Pro. We're gonna head out to 100 yards. I have some spinners out that are 100 yards. Uh, let's see here. At 100 yards, we're gonna be 2.7. I'm gonna use my cold shot instead of the scope. We'll go 2.7 up. 2.7, and then one to the left for spin spin drift. All right. So let's see where we're at 100 yards and then we'll make some calculation changes if we need to. We're going to record in the Street Lock Pro. I mean, we're going to record on the Technicam. All right, here we go. First shot at 100 yards, recording with Technicam. This will be the third shot from when I, since I started, sighted it in. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, focus this in. Got a little twig in front of there. Okay, I hit that. I should have painted it first. I think I'm a little bit to the left. Let me shoot the smaller one. Okay, I'm still a little bit to the left, so. I'm to the right, so it's uh, the spin drift is a little bit more than I'm anticipating. Um, let's see, I'm point 0.1. Let's go point 0.2 left. And then we'll try the smallest target there. There we go. Okay, dead center. All right, so the um, the spin drift was a little bit more. There is a tiny breeze, but it seems like it's coming back to me. So uh, 
we're 0.3 to the left to be dead center at 100 yards. All right, so uh, what was that? How many shots we got in there? Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. I have five shots left. All right, so we're semi-sighted in. Uh, it was close at 50 yards. We were able to do a little corrections, get it right on the money at 100 yards. Now I'm going to head out to 300 yards. Our calculations are going to be 20.2 mil up and 0.5 to the left. All right, uh, doesn't seem to be any breeze right now, so I'll hold it right on it, and let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. First shots. We'll put the Technicam on. We'll see if we can hit a can at 300 yards. All right, here we go. Got it, first shot. Yeah! <laughs> All right, so that means my BC is right on the money. Um, there's really is no wind, so uh, the wind was not really uh, an issue at all. All right, so um, let's do another calculation. I don't have anything farther than that. I do have another can set up a little bit closer. Two twenty-five. All right, so let me do the calculation for two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Twelve point seven. So let's see what we got. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Point seven. All right, I'm gonna uh, leave the spin drift on point five, and let's see what we can do here. All right, so we're gonna go 225 yards. Tatnican's still recording. We're going backwards, we're going closer now. Let's see how close we are. Let's see how close this BC is. Got it, okay. All right, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, the Vulcan can uh, reach out 300 yards pretty easily. We got the calculation in there. Uh, I was able to figure out that BC was at 0.1. It was right in the money at 300 yards when I used the calculations in the Street Lock Pro. So uh, I think we'll have to stretch it out a little bit farther. I have right now cleared out to 400 yards. I don't have time today to keep on going. Uh, the breeze is picking up a little bit now, but uh, we'll pick a day with no wind and uh, let's see if we can hit sun at 400 yards. And uh, I'll be shooting with my other rifles here pretty soon. And uh, when I have time, if I can clear out to 600 yards, we'll see how far we can push these rifles out. All right, everybody, till next time. Bye-bye.